now everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now be free now help those under the anointing please any family here with the yoke of death on their head everyone here with the yoke of untimely death i decree and i declare right now by this kapakos kotobekata by this oil of preservation death i command you pass over their family pass over their destinies pass over their families hear me every demonic mark over your life attracting men attracting tragedies attracting losses to your life your business your ministry your career by the power that raised christ from the dead by the blood of the lamb may that mark be erased forever erased forever erased forever erased forever hear me everyone here who comes close to prophecy but never handles it you see it in your dreams you are just one step to receiving it and then something apakatos ketabakata in the name of jesus every spirit assigned to frustrate you i stand on this altar by the blood of the lamb i decree help them please i command an end to that oppression now an end to that oppression now help those under the anointing please there are people here anything you start does not last there is no problem in starting you have done too many things this year alone but none of them has been sustained whether it's business whether it's ministry whether it's a relationship whether it's marriage nothing you do last i decree and declare by this oil of preservation on your life whatever cut short prophecy from your destiny let it be cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now cancelled now every spirit that makes tomorrow worse than yesterday that means all your achievements and everything that makes you happy is always in yesterday you see people sit down and they never discuss what god is doing it is always something that happened something that happened as though tomorrow does not have anything good i decree and declare whatever makes your moral your tomorrow to keep diminishing in quality and value i decree and i prophesy over you let that spirit leave your destiny now hear me anyone here who is in ministry particularly and it looks like the more the ministry is extending in age the more everything is going down whether in membership whether in impact whether in visibility you may be following online i'm standing here under the corporate anointing with all the servants of god here and we decree and declare whatever makes ministry a frustrating adventure for you that it looks like you are called but nothing in your life shows that you are called by the power that raised christ from the dead we cast that spirit now
the same applies to business the same applies to career your tomorrow i repeat should never never be worse than yesterday now hear me if there is anyone here who is struggling with any terminal disease particularly something that is already eating you up that is already plunging you towards death or anyone here having dreams and all you keep seeing are dead people dead relatives people who have died interacting with you or whatever it is the living and the dead have nothing in common therefore this night by this oil of preservation be separated forever be separated forever and any human agent in partnership with demonic spirits to invoke death or pain or losses or tragedy over your life and your endeavors in the name of Jesus Christ we decree and declare this oil upon you becomes an oil of judgment against them <laughs> hallelujah if there is anyone here that you have been marked in the realm of the spirit for kidnap by any terrorist group whether in this nation or around the world i stand in the name of jesus as one sent of god i decree and declare that anybody who stands by the road to kidnap you i command the earth to fight them in the name of jesus whether in the day whether in the night every devil walking through men that will stand by the road to kidnap or oppress you may the earth fight them in the name of jesus and every manifestation of accidents whether by road whether by sea whether by air hear me if you enter that plane or that car then it will not crash please believe these are not empty words these are not empty words at all let me pray for your children whether you are there with them or not wherever your children are may this prophetic word go ahead of them and preserve them <laughs> hallelujah i think he was in the I, I i don't i don't i don't watch the news so much but I, I saw something on the news or so about a young boy was it one young boy i think he's in nigeria here that was killed or i think i hope i'm right with that story i don't i really didn't follow the story but i said what sort of a thing is this i'm saying it again wherever your children are if there is anyone who could not get to you and now wants to come through your children whether biological whether adopted or spiritual in the name of jesus christ quarter to shame and disgrace may my god arise and speak for you hallelujah and everybody who has been commanded to come into your life as an answered prayer and the devil is delaying them and yet you are suffering from that delay you are suffering whether business whether relationship whether family whether prophetic connection anybody that should show up in your life and destiny to accelerate prophecy wherever they are I command divine acceleration to you. The wine presser was supposed to talk to the king fast about Joseph, but because of his carelessness, Joseph spent two extra years. It was the delay of the bridegroom that punished five other virgins. They were all virgins. But simply because the, the bridegroom chose to delay, that was why their oil finished. Whatever will cut short your joy and your laughter. In the name of Jesus, especially during this season, 
I prophesy to you by the power of the Holy Spirit whatever will not make you laugh and rejoice let it go for your sake hallelujah this is not our last service but i just feel stirred to rebuke the spirit of fear and then we're done many people are afraid right now because of the festive season there is no money how will my children eat how will i travel can i speak to you dear family of faith have no fear i want to speak to you there is the prophetic dimension of the supplies of the kingdom if you have never had a christmas celebration or a new year celebration with joy and gladness in the name of jesus may this be one with a difference in your life may god raise men you do not know may god raise systems and structures in the name of jesus christ hallelujah here and there people can have illnesses malaria whatever it is and just take drugs and deal with it but there are people here from beginning of this year till now you have not been free from drugs because as soon as one is finishing another one is starting your leg your head your kidney this one is no longer a medical issue in the name of jesus i agree with you if there is anything in your body now that was sent to kill you that is not just a biological occurrence you think it may just be sickness but it's an arrow sent from hell to ensure that you die in the name of jesus that arrow goes back to the devil in the mighty name of jesus christ by this oil and by the word i declare you supernaturally preserved in the mighty and marvelous name of jesus christ give jesus a big hand clap hallelujah